Hey there, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here looking at a JZS147 Toyota Aristo. This one with the 2JZ engine, that's the Supra engine. Also kind of known as the Aristo engine. In fact, I think more of these Aristos were sold in the next generation Aristo than there were Supras with the 2JZ. And so technically, this is an Aristo engine if you want to go by production numbers. This one has under 100,000 kilometers. It's going over to the USA. Condition of it is quite good inside and out, but the alternator needs to be replaced and we'll get that done before the car ships out. Typically we'll have the engine running for this part of the video, but you need to connect the battery jump box to the engine in order to keep it running. And because the alternator is not working and the battery is completely dead, it drains my battery jump box when the engine is running with it connected until it's all out and then the engine is going to stall. So, we'll get the alternator fixed here in Japan. That is completely possible. Other than that, the engine runs very well, and I do have some video to go along with this video so that you can see that that's the case. Got the timing belt here changed at uh, 75,000 kilometers, 74,827. The two Js are super reliable engines. You can run these to really high mileages if you want, but this one looks like it's a well taken care of vehicle. Having the timing belt changed at 75,000 is nice. A lot of people will wait until just after 100,000, which is generally okay to do. I don't see a problem really with that. Okay. The looks of this, well, it's up to you if you like them, or if you don't like them, or if you're so-so about them. I think most people are going to buy these because of the great driving dynamics, the really nice interior, and that engine, of course. Here's the auction inspection sheet here. So we got 94,800 kilometers. It's an auction rate four with an interior seat, exterior seat, purchased from user, and it's a one owner vehicle. Now the exterior has a lot of areas of paint fade, and I'm gonna show this to you right now, because this is kind of a thing with early metallic paints. Have a look at the edge here, and it'll look like thousands of little scratches on it. And that's a type of paint fade that hit a lot of cars from like the late 80s to kind of the mid 90s. And then sometimes a little bit more than that. Uh, this car has that on several of the panels. Also the plastic extra bumper on the doors there is um, a little bit uh, weird looking paint on it. It looks like those have possibly uh, been repainted. Anyways, the rest of the report here says windshield rock chip, interior scratch and dirty and wear. Uh, the left center pillar has a paint mark. This is typically uh, repainting has been done on the inside here. And so that would be done after a repair has been done to it. Now looking at it, it looks okay to me. I don't see anything that stands out. Both the doors open and close properly. And so no issue with that. Underside surface rust. Seat has wrinkles, aftermarket steering wheel, it's a nardy, it's a nice unit. It kind of doesn't match the luxury-ish interior. It's more of a sports car kind of steering wheel. Some people manual swap these, it's something that you can do, um, in which case it would be the appropriate steering wheel, I suppose. Wheel scratched, very small scratches, small dents, repair marks, and door mirrors scratched, paint fade, paint fade, paint fade, paint fade, paint fade, uneven paint. Okay, and ooh, A3 over here. That's the, really the only scratch. Now, dent-wise, I think it's looking pretty good, but I think it needs a full repaint. The thing with this type of paint fade is you don't really see it until the sun shines on it, and then it's very visible. And so it is a little bit unfortunate here. It's starting to rain. The dark clouds are coming over. I know you can't see it, but... It's going to start pouring in a second here, I bet. Which is kind of sucky, because uh, I got my camera bag and the key bag and everything in the back of the BB. So hopefully we can finish this video and then run away. Okay, so this is, these are the original wheels on it. It's a 245 on the rear and a 225 on the front. It's an appropriate size tire for this. Of course, these look really good with, the, with a set of like 18-inch wheels. Uh, BBS LMs would look really nice on these, as with every Lexus of this generation. I mean, this is obviously a Toyota Aristo, but in some model, uh, some markets, like in Canada and the U.S., these are Lexus GS300 or GS400, and then the next generation got the 430 engine. But here, the best engine, the 2J, with the twin turbos and the 300 horsepower. Okay, 
I do like the headlights on this. I think they're nicely uh, 90s. Uh, the projector in there with the fluting and the glass. It's a good look. And they're not faded like they often are with this car. Okay, so you won't be able to see it very well, but there is fade on the hood there. There's some on the roof, right behind the windshield, or the sunroof. I didn't test the sunroof because of the alternator problem. Uh, normally I would. Uh, also the power windows and whatnot. Um, after we get it sent to the mechanic, I can check that if you want. If you're the owner of this vehicle, let me know if you want that to be done, and I'll do it for you. Okay, interior's nice. This one's a leather package. Most of them in Japan aren't leather, so this is quite nice to see. I suspect that the leather one was more expensive, obviously. Maybe even quite a bit more expensive because of how rare it is. And then that means if you spent a lot of money on your Aristo, you're probably going to take better care of it. And that's good to see because this one has been taken really good care of by the looks of it. Get your own little vents in the back, BMW 5 Series style. There's a steering wheel that's more sporty than it should be, but it is good. Automatic transmission. I'm not sure how many gears the auto on these has. It's either going to be four or five. This was about the time where four speeds were going away for five speeds, but still a lot of cars had four speeds. Okay, we are getting some dinging there, but I guess the dinging doesn't take a lot of power. Okay, so seat has the regular leather wear, but seats that are made out of leather, easy to refurbish if they don't have rips. You can see the color has worn, worn out of that, but uh, can be repaired for certain. No sagginess in the seat, no bad smell in the interior. It actually has kind of a new car leatherish smell to it, which is pretty nice. An already steering wheel. I'd show you the gauges, but they don't really show up. Let's see what we can get here. Okay, we got more than I thought. Huh, decent. I'll need the batteries that are in there in order to start it to pull it back into the lot, though. To run away from the rain. Okay, so I didn't get a chance to check the AC. I can check that later if you want. This is cool, I love that. Now, usually these come with a screen in them. This is the non-screen version, which is better because the touch screen is very dated and very slow and laggy. Let's get that dinging to stop. Okay, it comes with a CD player with the uh, 10 disc changer in the trunk, very 90s style. Tape deck, place for your cigarettes. I don't think it's been smoked in. Shifter's good. It's a little bit loose. And I think all of them are. It might just be like a, a very common problem on these. There's an air purifier, which is cool. It has a scratch in the paint on it, but it is not that bad. And some roof. There you go. Okay. It almost looks like nighttime. It's so dark. Really weird. I wonder how the camera is hand handling it. Oh, and I keep getting shocked by the car. So there must be something weird going on with the battery. Um, shocking me. Maybe a bad ground or something. So that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the uh, kind of weird video not having the engine running at the start, but it is what it is. That is the end, of course. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, enjoy the cherry blossoms for the few days that we get them here this year. That's the end. Have a nice day.